Hi there, my name is Nicola. Welcome to my channel, where we learn stuff about WordPress, HTML, and CSS and Bootstrap. Today, this is all about Smart Slider. With this free plugin, you can create various versions of slideshow for your website. In this series, I already have two tutorials about Smart Slider, how to create slider, and how you can use the template. And today, I'm going to show you how you can build this uh, slider with these two buttons and some text here, but accent is on these two buttons. See, this is our slider. One, one slide and other. Also, our slides will be mobile responsive. See, okay, without further ado, Let's get started. Okay, guys, let's close these two windows. And from dashboard, go to Smart Slider dashboard. Okay. You can skip this part, but I don't want it. This slider we are going to build, but from scratch, click on New and create a new project. We are going to use Slider with simple <laughs> slider type because we are using the free version of Pro. Let's add the name. This is our width and height and layout will be full width. Okay, click on create. And this is our name and our options. So. Let's add the slide one. This is going to be a picture. I already add my picture here. Let's choose this one. Dimensions is 1200 by 600. Choose it. Okay, now let's click on edit. Okay, and First of all, let's add the heading. I'm going to copy text to speed up this tutorial. And this is the text beneath it. Okay, also you can reduce the max width here. And now let me see how we can add two buttons here. If we click here on a row, we will get two columns. One column here, I think. No, one here and one there. And now let's add the button. First button is more, but let's change the text first on read, read more. And in the style, in the style, let's change color to be yellow one, for example, and we need alignment. Just click here to align on the right. And also let me add, we need border, I think, yes. Border radius actually, five pixels. And this is our color. Okay, and we can add the, I don't know, 10 pixels for border radius. Okay, now let's add, a, oops, copy this button, duplicate, and move it in the second column. Go to alignment and choose alignment left. Let's add a little bit of room between those buttons. This padding here padding left on this column, let's see 25 pixels. And of course here on this column, not that, let's change the padding, let's add it to 25 pixels. Okay, now it is much better and let's change this button. Let's change the background color to be transparent. 
and let's add border one pixel with this color here but let's add two pixels for example okay and now let's change the hover state also this is important hover state but uh, hover state for background color let's set the same color just like the border you see okay also you can add the hover state for this pattern but i don't want to do that and also i want to add some padding in this row here to add more room above those buttons okay and let's add margin top between heading and paragraph and of course let's add the let's click the whole slide and add the background color to be black and choose overlay and set the transparency now we can read this text the contrast is much better okay let's see how it is look like on tablet and on mobile and here let's change the alignment for our button for our button we need to change the alignment let me see here position center and let's remove also we need to remove though this padding here okay now let's remove no okay now let's set the alignment for this button where it is where it is alignment oh there it is okay and you can add some room here for example not to change max width but okay you can do it no let's back and change this padding here now let's change padding sorry oh, this is right okay this is our mobile view also you can change the font size and so on now click save okay and now let's go one step back to see our slide let's copy and not copy let's click on duplicate sorry and click on edit to change the background image to set another one let me find it we are going to use this one here with the same dimensions okay and now let's copy the text for this image this is text for eyes and this is the paragraph here and let's change the colors for buttons background color choose this one for example and change the border color let me find it where it is border oh. this is this color border and 
to change the hover state to be a blood, not this color, and this one. Okay, let's click on save and at the end, let's add our slider to page. Let's go on pages. Uh, not pages, let me, uh, before that, I'm going to set the animation settings. This is our slider. Animations, horizontal, this is the duration of transition. Let's activate auto play with 4000 milliseconds. Okay, let's click on save. And now go to pages, go on slideshow. We can add the smart slider here. No, let's add it with Elementor. Okay. And let's delete this section and add another one. This will be full width without gaps. And let's add, let's type smart slider. And choose our slider. Okay. Let's click on update and preview. And this is our slider here. Also, you can change the settings for height of image. For example, you can add the, let me see here in general, in size, you can change, you can add the min height, for example. Let's set 600 pixels or no, we don't want to change that, but let's set here 1200 by 800 and click on save. Now refresh. And now it is much better. Okay, guys, if you want to support me. Okay, guys, this is all for today's video. If you want to support me, my work, my channel, please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. For more fun, don't forget to smash the bell notification. See you next time. Bye-bye.